Hello, I'm Andrew Wilson, Technical Manager for ICL Professional Horticulture and welcome to Hort Science Online. Now nitrogen is a key element, it's what makes our plants green and lush, but it needs to be used in balance and too much can give soft growth which is liable to damage from wind and rain but also disease. Now there's increasing concern about nitrogen use and its effect on the environment and we see pictures of, of lakes and rivers with eutrophication. Um, so there's, there's legislation that's been coming along in terms of the Water Framework Directive and nitrate vulnerable zones. So these are things we need to be aware of when we're using fertilisers to use them efficiently. Now looking at nitrogen use is particularly important when we look at sustainable growing media. And in terms of these medias, they, they tend to hold on to less water. They have less available water, but they also buffer nutrients less well. So there's more potential for leaching of nutrients into the environment. Now nitrogen is a major element, but it's just one of 14 essential elements that plants need. So we need to get these things in balance. And if we overuse one, we don't get the best quality from the plant. Now to see how important nitrogen is to the plant, if we break the plant down into its component nutrients, we can see how many parts of each of the elements there are. And if we look at a trace element like molybdenum, for every one part of molybdenum, there's a million parts of nitrogen. And that really shows you how much nitrogen is within a plant, within all the organic molecules and everything. But equally, if the molybdenum is missing, it causes quality effects on the plant. So we have to get everything in balance. Now we tend to use the term nitrogen very generically and there's several forms of nitrogen that we should be aware of. Obviously within the air we breathe is predominantly nitrogen and this is N2 and some plants are very clever and they can take up elemental nitrogen from the air, think things like bean plants. Um, more generally the forms of nitrogen we're interested in in, in our crop plants are ammonium nitrogen um, which is a positively charged cation and this can be held within the growing media and bind onto the, the sites on, on, on the peat or the, or the bark or whatever media you're using. The common form of nitrogen that we hear a lot about is nitrate nitrogen. Now this is negatively charged and this is why there's such concern in the nitrates because it can be leached very easily from growing media. The next form of nitrogen we hear about is urea nitrogen. And it's commonly used in agriculture. Um, farmers put lots of prills of urea on. You have to un understand the nitrogen cycle to be aware of this, but you know, this, this form of nitrogen can volatilize in, into ammonia gas and, and be given off. So you have to be careful when you use it, particularly in glasshouses, as you can get plant damage. It's also not directly taken up by the plant, so it needs to break down into other forms of nitrogen to be taken up. It can be used in foliar feeds and, and it's taken up quite well into the leaf of the plant. Now the last form of nitrogen is organic nitrogen and this is where the nitrogen has been built up into long chain molecules of amino acids, typically into proteins. And these need to break down by degradation from bacteria and fungi um, to be released into the growing media for, for plants to take up. So when we look at the sustainable growing medias, we need to understand the raw materials to understand the nitrogen relationships. Here, here's some bark and it's quite an open media, um, quite freely draining, uh, but it has a low buffering capacity of nutrients. Now this means that nitrogen can be easily lost from it, but it's also quite bi biologically active and it can be broken down and nutrients can be locked up, particularly nitrogen. And, and this is quite a consideration when you're using these sort of products, you might need to supplement the nitrogen. We, we also have wood, wood fibre here which, which doesn't lock up the nitrogen in quite the same way, but, but, but it can leach more, more from these sort of materials because they're more open. So we need to look at ways of supplementing the, the nitrogen in a sustainable way. So this is the final growing media here. It's a sustainable growing media, but it's 100% peat free. Um, and we have to take into account not just the physical properties, but also the nitrogen compensation we have, have to add to it. We need to add a nitrogen source that isn't easily leached, but which lasts a long time. So just in terms of the nutrient holding of, of sustainable growing media, we need to consider the cation exchange capacity. And this is how well a growing media holds onto the cations, you know, the positively charged ions, tip, typically things like calcium, magnesium, potassium. Now, the new medias have a lower cation exchange capacity than traditional peat-based medias, meaning that 
nutrients are less well held. But when we talk about nitrogen in, in the nitrate form, it's negatively charged and it has very poor binding into the growing media, so it is very easily leached. So when we consider our nitrogen source, we want to be looking at something that is either held within the media or, or continually releasing. Now traditionally people have used calcium nitrate. It's a readily available and cheap form of nitrogen, um, but it, it's wholly nitrate nitrogen. And you can see that it's, it's readily dissol dissolvable and easily leached from the growing media. So at ICL, we've been working hard to develop more technical solutions to this issue. So after extensive trials and evaluation, ICL have introduced two nitrogen products. We have Osmoform High N, which is a 38% nitrogen slow release, releasing over eight to 10 weeks. This is great, great for shorter term crops. And it's what it does, it supplements your standard nutrition package with, with nitrogen that releases a little bit every week just to top up some of the nitrogen that is lost um, from leaching and maybe by assimilation by the bark or the wood fibre. Um, so it gives you balanced growth. Not too much nitrogen releasing because we know that excess nitrogen can give you soft growth. And for longer term crops, we have the Osmocote N, which is a five to six month um, nitrogen product, which is 3605. So it has a little bit of potassium as well in there, which can help with some of the wood, wood fibre mixes. But it gives a very steady release controlled release over five to six months and we see really good results particularly with perennials and shrubs in, in terms of maintaining their their color and we don't get the yellowing of the leaves that you often see with you know with peat free production when you're not matching the nutrients to the plant demand so this is icl's peat free growing media levington advanced sustain and you can see it's a blend of coir pine bark and fiber grow wood fiber so when working with sustainable growing medias, water management is a key factor. And it's important for growers to, to manage the amount of irrigation water they put on, but maybe work with wetting agents such as H2Grow as well to really maximise the water relations within the pots and reduce leaching. A key part of growing any crop is the nutrition strategy. And many nursery stock crops will be based on Osmocote to, to give the key NPK and trace elements required, um, but backed up by, by the new sustainable nitrogen products that we have in terms of Osmoform slow release and Osmocote N controlled release. Now while Osmocote can provide the backbone to the nutrition re required for your crops, there are occasions with, with sudden heavy rainfall episodes that, that seem to happen more often these days when water solubles can give a top up to maintain the plant quality. So coming soon in 2023, new Osmocote 5 fifth generation Osmocote from ICL. Specifically formulated for peat reduced growing medias, it has a higher nitrogen content, a higher magnesium content, and, a, and an S-shaped release pattern. But crucially, with, with peat free, it has a, an enhanced trace element delivery system, where the delivery of, of trace elements such as iron are enhanced to really focus on, on leaf color and plant quality. So there's an important take home message in terms of nitrogen efficiency. We can reduce wastage, we can reduce leaching into the environment, but we can still grow quality plants in the new sustainable growing media.